Tonight, new details in a string of high-end burglaries targeting luxury homes in the Valley. Phoenix police recently arrested three suspects and claimed that they were using cellular and Wi-Fi jamming systems to prevent victims from calling 911 or accessing their security cameras. 12 News journalist Chase Golightly continues to follow this story for us. And Chase, police said that these suspects knew exactly what they were doing. Creepy, that's right. Police say these suspects have long criminal histories carrying out similar crimes in several other states. But even with these recent arrests, police said more are still out there. It's burglaries like this that Valley Police Departments have been dealing with for years now. Since last February, Phoenix police say there have been about 111 of these burglaries across the Phoenix metro area, believing the suspects are tied to South American theft groups because of the methods they're reportedly using to break into luxury homes, stealing jewelry, cash, guns, and more, totaling up to $3 million. Last week, Phoenix police arrested three burglary suspects accused of being tied to that syndicate. These documents claim they were in Arizona on expired travel visas and used fraudulent IDs. According to those same documents, police watched as they hopped over a backyard fence of a home near 44th Street and Camelback. Officers say the suspects try to get away, even ramming into an unmarked police vehicle with the getaway car. Police arrested three suspects, but one got away. Police found tools typically used in burglaries. What they also found is something you would see in a movie or video game. A Wi-Fi and cellular jamming device used to prevent people from calling 911 or access their security cameras. That's fairly sophisticated equipment. Retired ATF special agent and current faculty associate at ASU, Bernard Zaper, says these types of devices are federally illegal and some do more than prevent you from making calls. It actually could be something that captures your cell phone transmission and shows your location while you're moving. Now, places online like Amazon claim to sell these types of devices, but Zaper believes what these groups are accused of using goes way beyond that. Very much akin to, say, a tool that's used in law enforcement or the intelligence community. Now, how those suspects got those devices, police didn't say. But the expert I spoke with believes they could have been purchased off the black market or made through those crime syndicates. And police are still warning people that several other burglary suspects are still out there. Mark Kribe? Yeah, very scary. All right, thank you, Chase.